Alright, it's the time one slash Bushi, and let's play some more Final Fantasy XIV with Son of Ghost. I'm here in Gridania, and um, let's do the Valentine's Day event. Now, uh, fair warning, there is an instance at the end of the event. I will not be doing the instance because it's like a two-party instance. And basically, it's... Eh. It's like a trust exercise type thing. If I'm able to uh, get my... My roommates left the game. But if I'm able to get him back on the game... Uh, so he can help me out with it. Because I trust him to help me with this. I don't really like no many other people on this game if I can get him to help me then um, I'll, I'll do like the little instance thing and I'll clip it at the end of this but if you don't see that then I'm sorry but at least you'll get to uh, watch me do the event and have fun with that Trying to have some coffee, just trying to like <clears throat> have some fun little content. I hope y'all have been enjoying my VODs that I've been posting. Um, <clears throat> I know recently I posted a YouTuber life, oh my god, which that took so long to edit and then upload you know, edit and then save and upload it so i hope y'all appreciate that one it was it's a fun game i don't mind going back to it at some point um i just keep getting distracted by other stuff I'm going to uh, I'll go get the event items after I do the event uh, I also hope that you've been enjoying the um, bods that I've been taking and then cutting them down into like smaller less than an hour type episodes from past streams. I know I've said it uh, on my, uh, when I've been streaming on Twitch, but uh, Stray is gonna be my next uh, set of bonds I'll be releasing. And I'm very excited to do that. Stray was so, such a fun game. Uh, I got lost a lot, I got frustrated a lot, but I really did enjoy that game app when all is said and done. Suited for affection. Lisette de Valentine's gaze is sultry, yet her eyes water uneasily. Wander uneasily, not water. Oops. <laughs> this quest is available for a limited time only. As dawn light kisses sky above, so too eternal beams my love. Though dusk may drown the world in gray, the night shall taste. Why, hello there. If it isn't my hero of zeal, my champion of cherishers, it is ever a pleasure to meet you in this rosiest of seasons. If you have a moment, I should be much obliged to hear your thoughts upon a certain manner of the heart, of my heart to be precise. You see, my sister Astrid has been demanding to leave the celebrations this year. Yet while her enthusiasm does her credit, I simply cannot shirk my responsibilities as head emissary of Ordor. No matter what I say, she refuses to budge on the matter, but perhaps she would reason were it to come from an impartial party. 
and such a charming one at that. So I beg you, will you not try to talk some sense into her? I heard what my sister told you, but I simply must be allowed to oversee the festivities this year. I have my reasons. Lisette herself has a love, yet she devotes all her time and energy to the happiness of others when she should be focusing on her own. I must confess, I didn't always approve my sister's choice of partner. With his lowly upbringing, I had believed or to Vince didn't deserve her. But through my work as an emissary, I've come to realize that such things as birth and station matter not so long as there is love. And you should be embracing this occasion to foster that love instead of worrying about others. Uh, look here, Astrid. I appreciate your concern. I do. But the reputation of housebound Tion hinges on the success of these celebrations. As Lady of the House, I've labored to ensure that everything has gone smoothly this year and year out. Has gone smoothly year in and year out. Failure is not an option. You understand this, yes? I know this full well, sister, and I won't fail us. I even have the assistance of our new emissary in training. What do you think, adventurer? So, Tiny Bee, she picked, I say leave it to Astrid, and if it makes you feel better, I'll help too. And both myself and, or both Azuna and myself have, will pick, will this emissary and trainee spend more time helping or, you know, training? <laughs> I must say, the thought did cross my mind. Then, would you be willing to assist us too, Adventure? Yours will be a most reassuring presence in our efforts. Yes, with your good self watching over Astrid, I believe I can entrust this year's celebration to her with an easy heart. I hereby leave our legacy in your hands. So long as you stay true to your heart, you will surely do us proud. And even should something go awry, fret not. There is little I cannot fix without my, in I cannot fix with my indubitable charms. Right then. I suppose I'll go and embrace the spirit of the season. Phew! With the set gone, we may finally begin our work. Speaking of which, I must immediately impose upon you. Originally, I was meant to make the rounds with Emily, our new recruit, to advertise the event we shall be hosting later on. However, now that I have officially assumed my sister's responsibilities, I'm required to remain here at her post. Might you accompany Emily in my stead? Thank you. Pray wait a moment while I fetch her. Him. In love's fine season, our task is one, to spread gay tidings to all and one. Um, allow me to present our new apprentice of affection. Yes, well, the dress is, a quite depart is quite a departure from my usual attire, but if I'm to follow in Lisette's footsteps, I naturally must adopt her lovely image. Nice to meet you, adventurer. My name is Emily and it will be my pleasure to advertise the festivities together. Let Emily know when you're ready to er, fly forth upon the wings of Ardor and spread the word of our happy congregation. They both look so adorable.
Where's Astrid? Where's Emily? Ah! Their tag is Lala. There's Emily. Ooh, who's playing? Ooh, Ranch! Ranch is playing! Shall we be off then? This being my first time promoting an event, I'm not certain how to start talking to strangers. May I ask you to take the lead? Thank you. I'll be sure to observe you closely. Now then, shall we first head to the Leather Workers Guild? I dare say some folk there will be interested in our event. Oh my god, this person looks like the Hulk over here! the quest objectives. You can leave Emily behind by entering a different area or by speaking with her and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Emily accompany you again, return and speak to her at the original location. Okay. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of conversation or discussion. Close enough. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companion to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. Discuss Valentine's Day. Look, you can just see the amphitheater from here. I simply love Valentine's Day. The soft colors, the hearts, the adorable costumes. I'm so glad I found the courage to ask the set if I could become an emissary. It's nothing short of a dream come true. Looks like I'm early. Wonder if there's something to do to pass the time. So Tiny Bishi said, "Come and celebrate Valentine's Day with us." And uh, I'm Azuna picked "Harken Thee" for Valentine's Day. That grand celebration of ardor and affection has come once more, and that's why I'm gonna pick for Silent as well. I couldn't even see what I was doing. Amazing! I can imagine Lisette herself delivering such a delightful invitation. Um, Valentine's Day celebration are being held at Maketo's Amphitheater. There will be costumes and merrymaking and a special congregation wherein participants profess their love. Please join us if you have the time. Well now, that does sound like fun. I'll head over at once. Why thanks for letting me know. That went well. Let's keep up the good work. Next, let's head to the Shaded Bower on the way to the markets. Oh, and I shall try taking the lead this time. Your example was most inspiring. Alright, let's go. Discuss gifts. There's no shortage of Valentine's Day gifts to choose from at the markets. By all accounts, the most popular chocolate is from Biz the Bismarck. Are you planning to give a special someone a gift too? Assuming you have the skills, they say nothing conveys your feelings quite like chocolate you made yourself. And if you're thinking flowers, 
A red a a gamma rose never fails to please. Ah, uh, nothing feels so fine as finishing up a good day's work. Hearken thee for Valentine's Day. That grand celebration of ardor and affection has come once more. We are hosting Valentine's Day celebration at Mi Mia Kato's Amphitheater. Come join us for refreshments, costumes, and a special event wherein participants proclaim their affections. A handsome invitation from a handsome lass. How could I refuse? I'll bring my wife too. She loves her festivals. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing you there. Handsome. If anything, I want to be winsome. I'll just have to try harder next time, I suppose. Well, let us make our way to the ebony stalls and to the centaur's eye. Or through the ebony stalls. Okay. Come on. Hello, traveler. After I move, I am planning on coming back and going through main storyline quests with uh, both Tiny Bushi and Silent Ghost. I finally got into the point. Okay, so there there comes a point in Final Fantasy where um, cutscenes start to get vo uh, voice acted, like main storyline quests, main storyline quests cutscenes get voice acted so I'm at that point with Azuna excuse me I'm super happy and I'm like pretty close with uh, Tiny and uh, Silent as well so I can't wait till that happens Discuss the centaur's eye. This is my brother-in-law's shop. He proposed to my sister on Valentine's Day, and they've been inseparable ever since. Honestly, I feel like there should be more to that little dialogue, but it feels like it got cut out. A very good day to you, miss. Do you not simply adore the sweet season of outdoor and affection? Or Ardor. Oh, you're one of the Bounty Owns Day people, I take it. Indeed I am. Over at Mia Keto's Amphitheater, we're hosting a delightful event with gorgeous costumes to try on and the opportunity to speak of love to your heart's content. Well now, what a passionate and dashing emissary you are. Thank you for the invitation, and good luck with the festivities. Dashing? <sighs> I know it was said in kindness, but I just... No. This is no time to complain. Not when Astra is trying so hard to do her sister proud. She was hesitant about the dress. Said that such attire doesn't become her. But she donned it anyway in order to be like Lisette. And she positively shines in it, don't you think? It was to help her shine even brighter that I decided to wear this suit. I believe it would serve to provide contrast when we're side by side on stage. But this, this simply isn't me. I've always preferred to look ladylike, adorable. And being called handsome and dashing reminds me how far from myself I am right now. I need to persevere. I know this. It isn't the time to be selfish, and yet... So, with Tiny, I put, I don't think you... I don't think having a preference is selfish. 
And with the Zuna, I picked, I'm sure Astrid will want you to feel comfortable. And that's what I'm going to pick for Silent Ghost as well. Because I feel the same way. Truly. And perhaps I will speak with Astrid about it. I need a moment to gather my thoughts, but let's meet back at the amphitheater shortly. Okay. So I'm going to use the shard to get back to the amphitheater. Since she's not with me anymore. <clears throat> I just gotta wait for her to appear. That that person has the what face? Is their tag? Ah, oh, there you are. I tried gathering my thoughts, but I still don't know how I should broach the subject with Ashford. Nevertheless, I'm determined to speak with her, and I'd be grateful for your presence. Welcome back, my messengers of messages. How fared your efforts? Oh, splendidly. We met many souls eager to celebrate the season of love. But if I may, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Later, perhaps. You're looking a little pale, Astrid. Are you feeling well? Oh, uh... Fret not, Emily. I'm simply blanched with anticipation for today's most lovely events. Peaked with pleasure, as it were. Er, weak with... I mean... Oh, who am I fooling? The truth is, people have been bombarding me with compliments on my appearance. Every second person says I look sweet or adorable, and it's been positively exhausting. As a daughter of nobility, I know I ought to desire such praise. Beauty and grace are highly commendable virtues in our circles, after all. But one day I met a knight, a fellow daughter of a noble house, and I found myself drawn to her strength and gallantry. Our famous ancestor, Countess Arabelle, was also a skilled warrior, you know. Alas, I never had the physical disposition for such a rigorous calling. And though I find comfort in incorporating the spirit of chivalry into my guise and mannerisms, if I am to be an emissary worthy of succeeding Lisette, I must accept the attire that comes with the position and set aside my own preferences. So, both Tiny Bishi and Izuna picked, Emily will be happy to trade outfits with you. But I'm going to pick embracing one's own preferences is also an expression of love, self-love. It may be said that to prefer is to love. Still, as an emissary, I cannot allow my personal concern to interfere with duty. Damn, Astrid, I know your feelings all too well. For I have them too, though in reverse of you. I find it uplifting to be called sweet or adorable, yet I feel anything but in this handsome suit. As emissaries of love, our duty is to help people embrace their hearts. But how are we to do this if we don't embrace our own? If we don't love ourselves and pursue our own happiness? You're right, Emily. You're absolutely right. There I was, chiding Lisette for ignoring her unhappiness. Yet here I am, guilty of doing the very same thing. 
In order to become a great emissary like my sister, I have believed that I need to emulate her completely, but that isn't the case. No. As my sister herself advised, I need to stay true to my heart. Only then can I hope to become the best emissary I can be. Were it not for your encouragement, Astra and I might have continued to be miserable, trying to be something we're not. Thank you for helping us to be true to ourselves. Come, Emily. Let us trade outfits at once. There we go, much better. Oops. Sorry, my Discord bibbit. Just so, to succeed someone doesn't mean you have to imitate them. Now that Astra has learned this, she is truly ready to take over the Valentino's legacy. Which means we can start considering our future in earnest, among other things. I still need to pay my respects to your family. Yes, well, we'll get around to it soon enough. Ishgard wasn't built in a day, you know. I don't know why she looks that way. It's like she's angry that he even brought it up. You now have access to the bounty on ceremony, seasonal instance. So that's the interest I talked about that I am probably not going to do. To thine own self be true is the achievement that I unlocked. Uh, I don't know how difficult it is to do the event with like a stranger. And I... I'm not afraid to try it, to be honest. But that's what makes this event longer, is going through the incidents with somebody. Let's get... Oops. Hold up. I messed up. Uh, where's the coffee? There it is. Okay. Nope. I'm going to click on her. So we're going to get the uh, ballroom etiquette stuff. Alright, we're going to get the heart desk. And then we're going to get the male version of the emissary stuff, which it unlocks once the event is over. That's the one complaint that people were having about this event. It's a cool, it's a cute event, and I love how it has, you know, be true to yourself type message and everything. But, here's the problem. Go into the armory chest. And the Balantillon's outfit. Okay. It 
is for the gender that your character is. Oh, I didn't want to equip that. I want to try it on. So, what sense does it make to have an event that says be true to yourself and if you want to dress in boy clothes, dress in boy clothes. You know, if you want to wear the suit, wear the suit. Or if you want to wear the dress, wear the dress. It doesn't matter what gender you are. But yet, it's gender locked until the event's over. Like, once you finish the event, um, you can, as you can see, you can buy the opposite gender's clothing pieces. But, as you can see here, it's locked. That it's basically locking it until the event itself is over and then you can wear it. So, there's that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Enough of my, uh... Complaining about the, uh... event it's it's a cute event like i said i like how the ending is and i said this on my stream with uh izuna i like how the event is basically be true to yourself love yourself first and it's not like oh you're not complete without somebody else and you know it's just the whole getting a coffer of gender locked outfits is, yeah, it, it, it's rubbing people the wrong way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, watch me eat some chocolate while I leave.